to another deck review. Now, I gave you guys the option of voting on which deck is gonna be reviewed today on my own Instagram. By the way, if you're not following that, link is in the description below. And today, you guys have decided that we will be reviewing the Mint 2 playing cards by 52 Cards and a Sad Chowdhury. Now, before we get into the review, all that YouTube jazz, make sure you like, you subscribe, you comment down below, and you enter the giveaway that's going on on my channel right now. Anyway, guys, as always, Let's get into it! Now like I said guys, we are going to be reviewing the Min 2 playing cards. This was one of the most funded Kickstarter campaigns of 2018. It did incredibly well. I think like it was fully funded in something silly like an hour or something like that. It had a ridiculous amount of backers, I think like 5,000 backers. It hit so many stretch targets that we got some ridiculous things with the deck. And that is why it took so long for the decks to be published. So the decks come like this. Now, I haven't even opened them yet, so this is gonna be some fun for both of us. So the cucumber is obviously green and it's got this green foil on the back. i just catch the light. And the blueberry is obviously blue. And look at the way catches the light on the back like this. The cards do also come with a gaff pack and as well as that it came with a, a sticker um, and a mint. So anyway guys, let's get into this review. So the tuck case is made of the soft touch paper. It's a matte paper and it's got this mint logo on the front here with the word mint and the luxury playing cards. Now down the side we have the mint collection. This side it says luxury for the modern card edition. We've got some ad work on the bottom and on the top we have the seal in second edition. So to take the cards open, we've got the mint logo on the top of the tuck there. Nothing on the flaps. Now inside we have this almost negative version of the back design here. So we've got white silver instead of blue. Um, and that's quite a nice little touch on the inside of the tuck. Let's just see if that goes all the way in. Uh, the cards come with an ad card and on the back it's got the producers that were part of the 52 Kickstarter campaign. We've got a double backer and we have two identical jokers. We've got the mint logo in the middle and then you've got joker written down the side here. Now the cards do come in standard order but all of the cards are customised. Now they have standard layout on the pips. Uh, and indices, however, they are fully customized and designed with this deck. One of the things that you will notice is that the court cards are borderless and they're custom designed with um, a bit of this sort of mint design somewhere on there. So the king's got it on his hat or his crown, um, and the queen's got it on the like, hood of her robe. Quite a nice touch. All of the aces are these larger aces in the center. And as you can see, you've got a bit of the background design on the front of the ace. And this is the back design. So we have this repetitive pattern all the way through, and that is the Mint logo. Now, in that logo, we do have a marking system on the top corners. Now, what Asad wanted to do is he incre increased the size of these logos on the back and created a marking system that was so easy to read at first glance. One of the best features about these is that these cards are super thin. So this is USPCC and these cards are just ridiculously thin. In fact, let me go get a bicycle deck. So compared to a full deck of bicycle card with the jokers in, you can obviously see that this is much thinner 
In fact, it's probably five or six cards of dinner. And these do feel really like, when you get them out of the box, see, I've literally just unwrapped them, but look at that. They dribble so well because of how thin they are. Um, and let's just give it a spring. And yeah, they spring. Amazing. So that's the blueberries. Now let's have a look at the cucumbers. Now the cellophane is so easy to remove on these because uh, obviously it's the perfect combination of form and function. And what is more annoying than having a deck of playing cards that you have to fight to get into? Break the seal. We have this lovely green on the back. Now I think the cucumber is probably my favourite looking colour. Uh, I'm I'm always about obscure decks, so I don't like your. I'm not always typically about your blues and your reds in terms of your playing cards. I like your purples, your yellows, your greens, and um, which is why I absolutely love the DKNG um, green wheels. I think they are beautiful. So, like in the blueberry, we have the inside tuck having the sort of negative colorization. Oh, there's still a joker in there. We get that in the tuck case, which looks incredible. And obviously the same, we get the two jokers. We've got the ad card and we've also got a double backer. Now the back design here is the green cucumbers and they look beautiful. They actually pretty much are the same colour as cucumbers. Likewise, the court cards don't change the colour in, uh, different, in the different decks. In fact, um, I think it's the same colours that are used in first mint deck. Now these cards are traditionally cut, which means they are great for pharaoh shuffles uh, and other interweaving card techniques. As well as that, they're all about practicality, if anything. They're all about being a luxury design for the sort of cardition. And, and they call it a cardition because it's not just for magic and ghostry, it's like a luxury brand almost. Um, and these are so nice. Okay guys, so we know all about the cards and we know everything about them, so let's get into the review. In terms of aesthetics, I'm definitely going to give these a 12 out of 13, primarily because they are so simplistic but intricate. They have that, that merger of form and functionality and it, it comes across in the design as well. You've got two lovely colours uh, for the standard ones, the foil is like a casino deck that also looks really really good, the frost mint. There's like fluff flying around everywhere. And um, yeah, in terms of the actual design on the cards, they don't feel too cumbersome. They're very light in terms of the hips and indices. And I just I really like that about them. In terms of durability, I'm going to give these an 11 out of 13. So they're USB CC, however, the cards are so thin that um, I don't know how they're going to hold up. Now I know that USB CC cards in the stock is, is extremely good, but they do handle really well. In terms of handling then, I'm going to say that these are definitely a 12 out of 13. Being so thin, they are, uh, they don't stick together, they don't clump straight out of the box, they dribble perfectly well, they almost feel like a broken in deck of cards prior to using them. And um, that is perfect for if you are, you know, you've got a bunch of these and you're outperforming, you can just get them out, start going, uh, and you're not having to sit there and break any cards before you go to a gig and do it for them. And then in terms of practicality, the marking system, it's very easy to read. Now I will say to you, if you can read a clock, you can read the market system, and I'm pretty sure most of you know how to read an analog clock. If you don't, maybe you should learn. And then get these cards. But it's so simple to read, and um, that's why I'm giving that uh, 12 out of 13. So that means that I'm going to give these cards a 47 out of 50. Too. Okay guys, so I really hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure that you like, you subscribe, you comment down below, and you go to the description box below and check out my Instagram. You might find something you like there. You might see some awesome pictures of these. You might get around to do it. But anyway guys, I hope you're enjoying it. If you are, tell a friend. If anybody out there is enjoying magic and likes watching magic and reviews and cool things and reacting videos, tell them to check out my page and subscribe, because when we hit 250, we'll be giving away some playing cards. So the giveaway's live now, make sure you hit this sort of link that's coming up here. As well as that, when we hit 500, I'll be doing a, well, when we hit 250, I'll be doing another giveaway for when we hit 500. Thank you for watching, I hope you have a good day, thank you for being here, and as always, bye!